So images of A is nothing but the range. B is nothing but the codomain. Every function must become a relation. So that means all relation cannot become a function, but all functions are relations. A function f from A to B is called minimum function if different elements of set A have the same image in the set B. When two numbers have the same values, it does not satisfy the condition of the function. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti Ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. In this session, we are going to study about the functions and types of functions. So previous session, we have learned about the sets as well as relation. Now, we extend the concept of relations to function. Now, let us see the definition of a function. Let X and Y be two non-empty sets, a subset of X, cross y is called as a function if and only if the following condition holds good. For each x belongs to x, there exists a unique y belongs to y such that x comma y belongs to f and elements of x should not be repeated. Now, we always write any function in the form of y is equal to f of x. That means x belongs to the set x you always take the value of x from the set x where it gives you the value y which belongs to the set y. So a function from x to y is nothing but it always have a unique image in the second set. So the first set is called as the domain and the second set is called as the co-domain of the set which means if I take f of x is equal to x square then let me define a function from natural numbers to natural number. Then f of 1 is equal to 1, f of 2 is equal to 4, f of 3 is equal to 9, like this. So similarly, if the same function is defined from the set of real numbers to real number, and if I say f of x is equal to x square, so we get f of minus 1 is equal to 1, f of 1 is equal to 1 here. So, similarly we can see f of minus 2 is equal to 4, f of plus 2 is also 4. Since the real number set contains both positive as well as negative number, two numbers will have the same values. So, when two numbers have the same values, it does not satisfy the condition of the function. The definition of a function is that every element in the first set should have the unique image in the second set. Then only we say that the functions condition satisfy here. And now here f of minus 1 also have 1 as a value and f of 1 also have 1 as a value. This also satisfies the condition of a function here because minus 1 has the image 1, 1 also has the image 1. The condition is clear that every element should have a unique image. That means, so the value of one function cannot give you two answers like y and z. So this cannot happen in function. So some important things here, if x1 comma y1 belongs to f and x2 comma y2 belongs to f, then y1 is equal to y2. Now, if y belongs to y is called as the image of the element x belongs to x. If suppose we consider f of x is equal to y, so whatever value you go on inputting for the value x, you will get different values of y and y is called here the image of x and x is called the pre-image of y. And here the set x is called the domain of the function and set y is called as the range of the function. Example, consider here I have taken two sets and I have defined a function here. So let's check whether it is a function or not. So I'll write this 1, 2, 3, set A, A, B, C, set B. Say so according to the function here which is defined here, 1 is connected to A, 2 is connected to B and 3 is connected to C. Clearly, all the elements in the first set have its unique image in the second set. So therefore, this is your domain and this is the range of the given function. Next, I'm taking one more example here. The set contains the elements 2, 3, 4 
and here it contains the element 4, 5. So this is set A and this is set B. Now the function is defined here 2 to 4 and 2 to 5, 3 to 5 and 4 to 5. This is not a function because 2 has two different images here. According to the definition of a function, one image should have only one unique image. But here 2 has two different images. One image is 4 and another image is 5. So this is just a relation. This cannot be a function. So this is not a function. So when you are defining a function, observe that all the elements should have their unique values. Now if I take the same example in one more condition, let me see here, I have defined the set 1, 2, 3 here and here it is A, B, C. Let me connect 1 to B, 2 to B, 3 to B. That means 1 comma B, 2 comma B, 3 comma B. Is it a function? Yes, it is a function because 1 has only one image B, 2 has only one image B, 3 has only one image B. All of them have their images and it is only one image. But here in this case what happens? 2 has 4 as an image as well as 2 contains 5 as an image. So we have 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 5. So one element cannot have two different images when you are considering it as a function. So therefore this is just an example of a relation but not a function. Domain, codomain and range of a function here. Now when we define f from set A to set B, f is a function or mapping from A to B. Then I have taken an example here 1 comma A, 2 comma B, 3 comma C, 4 comma D. So we already learnt in relations that when you have written the relation set in the form of an ordered pair, the set of all first elements in an ordered pair forms a domain, the set of all second elements in an ordered pair forms range. So therefore here domain of F is 1, 2, 3, 4 and range of F is A, B, C, D and similarly co-domain of B is A, B, C, D. So whenever we define a function or a relation from A to B, we always call A as a domain and B as range or co-domain of a function. Note that here a function of A that is the image of A is always the subset of B. So images of A is nothing but the range. B is nothing but the codomain. So range is always subset or equal to codomain. You can observe here, this is the domain. So here domain is 1, 2, 3. Whereas codomain is A, B, C range is only B because in all the ordered pairs the second element is B so therefore the range is B so range is subset of codomain here but when you observe here this complete set is a domain this is codomain as well as range so here you can see range is equal to codomain that means here Second elements are A, B, C, which is a range as well as the codomain. So, therefore, range is always either subset of the codomain or equal to codomain. The next condition is every function is a relation, but the converse is not true. So, we have seen an example here. This is not a function which is a relation, but every function must become a relation. So that means all relation cannot become a function, but all functions are relations. Let n be the set of natural numbers such that r is equal to x comma y, y is equal to 3x plus 4, x comma y belongs to n, find the domain and range of the function. So here the function is given in the form of y is equal to 3x plus 4. We always consider y in the form of f of x when it is considered as a function. So therefore, we need to take the values from the set of natural number. They have clearly mentioned here x and y both belongs to set of natural number. So if you start f of 1, then it is 3 into 1, 3 plus 4, 7. f of 2, if you substitute 3, 2 is 6, 6 plus 4, 
10. f of 3, if you have taken 3 3s are 9, 9 plus 4, 13. So it goes on like this. So now the domain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. etc. Which is the set of natural number itself. Now range. So range is here 7, 10, 13, etc. What about codomain? Codomain is natural number itself because we are defining the function from set of natural number to itself. Next, we move across several types of function. The very first function is into function. So what do you mean by into function? A mapping f from a to b is called as into if there is at least one element of set b which is not an image. For example, let me take an example here. 1, 2, 3 and this is b a, b, c. Now this is set a, set b. So here f is a function from a to b. Now I'll connect 1 to a, 2 to a, 3 to b. So clearly this is a function because 1 has image a, 2 has image a and 3 has image b. So every element in the set a has its image in the set b. So therefore this is a function. But is it into function? No, because you can see in the codomain there is element c which is not connected to any element in the set A. So clearly in the set B, there must be an empty element which does not have pre-image in the set A. Then only we consider it as into mapping or into function. Next, many one function. So what do you mean by many one function? A function f from A to B is called many one function if different elements of set A have the same image in the set B. I have already taken an example. So if I consider this as A, B, C, here if I consider this as 1, 2, 3. So 1 to B, 2 to B, 3 to B. So you can see all elements have the same image, but they have only one image. So therefore, this is an example for many one function. So the previous example here, which I have taken 1 comma A, 2 comma A. 1 and 2 have the same image, but they have only one image. So this is also an example for many one function. One one function. So as the name itself says, one element, one image. So let me take an example of the same set here. So one, two, three, A, B, C. Let me take one more element, D. So one one function means each element should have unique images, different images. So I'll connect here, one to C, two to A, three to D. So here you can observe the image of 1 is C, the image of 2 is A, the image of 3 is D. Is it a function? Yes, it is a function because every element of set A have images in the set B. So, and all are unique here. So, no elements have the same image here. So, clearly this is a 1, 1 function. So, what do you mean by 1, 1 function? A function f from A to B is said to be 1, 1 function if different elements of set A have different images in set B. So, when you are proving this theoretically, we should consider if the images of the two values are same, then x1 is equal to x2. That means no two elements will have the same image. Next, onto function, which is also called as surjective mapping. So this is a reverse of into function. So what does into function says? There should be one free element in the second set. But when I say to onto function, no elements should be free in the second set. So let's take an example here. I'll consider A, B, C, D here. And I'll consider 1, 2, 3, 4. So let me connect 1 to A, 2 to B, 3 to C, 4 to D. So according to the definition of a function, every element of set A must be connected to some element in the set B. So that means our domain is not at all free. All elements are connected here. But when it comes to codomain, some elements are free or may not free. So this is an example where all the images are connected to its pre-image. So clearly this is an example for a function which is onto function. Now if I introduce any one element, for instance, let me consider 1, 2, 3. Let this be A, B, C. If I connect 1 to A, 
2 to c, 3 to c. Is it a function? Yes. But is it onto function? No. Because b doesn't have any pre-image in this set. So this is not onto function, but this is an example for into function. Next, bijection. So bijection is nothing but the function which is both 1, 1 and on 2. So let me take an example here. 1, 2, 3, 4. A, B, C, D. Let me connect to two different elements here. So we have here the image of 1 is C, the image of 2 is A, the image of 3 is B, the image of 4 is D. So let me check 1, 1 condition. So what does 1, 1 says? Every element should have different images. Do they have different images? Yes. So it is 1, 1. Now let me check for onto condition. For an onto condition, you should see the second set. Are there any free elements in the second set? No. That means all the elements in the second set have their pre-image in the first set. So therefore, this is satisfying onto condition. If not 1, 1, it is called many 1. If not onto, it is called into. So now this is both 1, 1 and on 2. So therefore, this is an example for bijective function. If I introduced any one set or one any one element inside set B, this is not onto function because E is free. And if I connect 4 to C here, is it 1, 1 function? No, because 1 and 4 have the same image. To decide 1, 1 function, all the elements should have different image. But since 1 and 4 have same image, that is not 1, 1. But is it on to? Yes. A, B, C. All the elements are connected to the set A. So therefore, this is on to but not 1, 1. If I introduce one more element, is it on to? No, it is not on to. It is into function. Next, 1, 1 into mapping. So as I said to you, so 1, 1 means it satisfy 1, 1 condition, but it does not satisfy onto condition. So let me take here A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. So 1, 1, 4 I'll take. So A to 2, B to 1, C to 4. So is it 1, 1? Yes. Is it onto? No, this is into because 3 is free here. So according to into mapping, there must be at least one free element in the second set so that it does not have any pre-image in the first set. Next, many one onto mapping. So many one means it does not satisfy one one condition. Let me take an example. A, B, C, D. 1, 2, 3. So A to 1, B to 1, C to 2, D to 3. Now is it onto? Yes. Is it one one? No. Because A, B have same image. So this is many one, not one one. Now constant function. Constant function is defined in such a way that f of x is equal to some k. That means I am taking an example f of x is equal to some 3. Whatever the value you take for x, the value is 3 itself. So therefore, if each and every element of a is mapped to a single element k, then the core domain b, then f is called as the constant function. You change the value of x but the function value never changes. It keeps on com being constant. So therefore, this is an example for constant function. Next, inverse function. So inverse function exists only if the function is bijective. That means if the function is both 1, 1 as well as on 2. If f from a to b be a 1, 1 on 2 function from a to b, then for each b belongs to b, f inverse of b, if f of a, is equal to b, then we write f inverse of b is equal to a, only if it is bijective. So it is unique and so f inverse from b to a is a function defined by f inverse of b is equal to a, if and only if f of a is equal to b. If f is bijective function, then f inverse is also bijective function. So the inverse of a function exists only if f is bijective function. That means your f must be 1, 1 mapping as well as onto mapping. Identity function. A mapping f from a to a is said to be an identity function if f of x is equal to x for all x belongs to a. So when I say f of x is equal to x, so whatever you input the value, you will get the same as output. For example, f of 1 is equal to 1, 
f of minus 7 is equal to minus 7c, whatever you input as x, the same thing you will get it as output. So such types of functions are called as identity function. Find the range of the following function. So domain will take few values, range is what we will get the answers. Now f of x is equal to x square plus 5 x greater than 0. So x greater than 0 means it is very clear x belongs to the set of natural number. They are only positive numbers. So x greater than 0. Find the range of the following function. That means we need to find the answers for different domain values here. Given f of x is equal to x square plus 5 x greater than 0. When x is greater than 0 which means it is positive real numbers. So that means greater than 0 is a positive real number. Let's take an example here. f of 1 so which is 1 square plus 5 6 f of 2 2 square plus 5 which is 9 f of 3 3 square plus 5 14 etc. So the range of the function will be in the form of 6, 9, 12 etc. So there are many real numbers in the form of a solution. Next f of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 x greater than 0. Here also we can take any values. Let me take f of 1, 1 square plus 2 plus 1 which is 4. f of 2, 2 square plus 4 plus 1 9. f of 3, 3 square plus 6 plus 1, 16. So it goes on. So the range is a set which contains 4, 9, 16, etc. Next, if f of x is equal to x cube, find the value of f of 3 minus f of 2 divided by 3 minus 2. First, let me consider what is f of 3. They have given f of x is x cube. So f of 3 is 3 cube which is 27. Now f of 2 is equal to 2 cube which is equal to 8. So f of 3 minus f of 2 divided by 3 minus 2 which is equal to 27 minus 8 divided by 1, 19. Let f is a function whose ordered pairs are given 1 comma 1, 2 comma 3, 0 comma minus 1 be a function from z to z defined by f of x is equal to a x plus b for all some integers a and b determine a and b. So any function in this form is called as linear function because you can clearly see this is an example for a linear polynomial. So this is called as linear function. Now here they have given the ordered pairs. So if 1 comma 1 belongs to f that means f of 1 is equal to 1. So image of 1 is 1. Similarly, image of 2 is 3. Image of 0 is equal to minus 1. Now clearly they have expressed this in the form of ax plus b. So here the value of x is 1, 2, 0. If we express this in the form of ax plus b, then this is a into 1 plus b, a into minus 2 plus b, a into 0 plus b. So clearly after simplification we will get this as a plus b minus 2a plus b and b. Now clearly from these observations we have here b value is equal to minus 1. And again from the first equation we have a plus b is equal to 1. So a is equal to 1 minus b. So b is minus 1 which becomes plus 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So the value of a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1. Find the domain and range of the function. So f of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus 3 divided by x square minus 9x plus 13 where x belongs to n. So here we need to take the values of n. So f of x is equal to f of 1. First I will take 1. So 1 square 1 minus 2 plus 1 whole divided by 1 minus 9 plus 13. So here 2 minus 2 0. Next f of 2. 4 minus 4 plus 1 whole divided by 4 minus 18 plus 13. 
So here it is 1 and denominator it is minus 1. So the value is minus 1. Next we will take f of 3. So 9 minus 6 plus 1 whole divided by 9 minus 27 plus 13. So which is equal to 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4 whole divided by minus 5 which is equal to minus 4 by 5. So the domain of the function, the domain of the function is 1, 2, 3, etc. which is nothing but the set of natural number. So they have clearly mentioned x belongs to n that means we are taking the values from set of natural number. So therefore the domain is n. Now range of the following function is 0, minus 1, minus 4 by 5 etc. Next we come across composite function. So what do you mean by this composite function? It is a function of a function or combination of a function. Now let A, B and C be three non-empty sets f is a function from a to b, g is a function from b to c, b any two function. See if f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c, then define a function from a to c which is denoted by g not f. Now if suppose we consider g not f of a, then it has to be written in the form of g of f of a. So here A belongs to the first set and the image belongs to the third set. So F of A is equal to B whereas G of F of A belongs to C. So such type of functions is called as composition. In the same way we can also define G, F not G. We can also define F not G. Now let's take few examples how to calculate the composition of a function. If F of X is equal to X square g of x is equal to x plus 1, find f not g of x, g not f of x. According to the function, f not g of x can be written as f of g of x. Now clearly, g of x is nothing but x plus 1. So any value under f is written in the form of x square. So therefore, this is x plus 1 whole square. Next, g not f of x can be written as g of f of x. f of x is nothing but x square. So here this becomes x square. Any value under g is written in the form of x plus 1. So therefore this becomes x square plus 1. Now are they equal? No, they are not equal. That means the composition of a function is not commutative. We can define f not g as well as g not f but they are not equal. Next. If f of x is equal to x and g of x is equal to x cube plus 1, find f not g of 1, f not g of 2, g not f of 1, g not f of minus 1. You should assume the value of x as 1, 2, minus 1, wherever it is necessary. Now let's calculate the first one, f not g of 1. So f not g of 1 means f of g of 1. That means put 1 here then it is 1 cube plus 1. So here 1 cube plus 1 which becomes f of 2. Now f of x is x so f of 2 is 2. Next let us calculate f not g of 2. So f not g of 2 means f of g of 2. So you need to substitute 2 here so it becomes 2 cube plus 1 which is 9 and f of 9 is 9 because f of x is x. So the value of f not g of 2 is 9. Next we consider g of f of 1. Now here f of x is x so f of 1 is 1. Now g of 1. So g of x is x cube plus 1. So g of 1 is 1 cube plus 1 which is equal to 2. So therefore the value of g not f of 1 is now the last one we have g not f of minus 1 so which is g of f of minus 1. f of minus 1 is minus 1. g of x is x cube plus 1 so minus 1 whole cube plus 1 which is minus 1 plus 1 which is 0. Hence the value of g not f of minus 1 is 0. 
Today in this session we have learnt what do you mean by function, different type of function and the problems related to the composite of a function. I'll meet you in the next session with the new chapter. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.